But first, four days of competition come down to one final game. Yeah, the game between SDSU and NDSU just wrapped up in the Summit League Championship game. Couple Land Sean Bauer is at the Premier Center live. Sean? Yeah, Don, the game just went final about 10 minutes ago or so, five, 10 minutes ago. And for the first time since 2018, the South Dakota State Jackrabbit men are heading to the NCAA tournament as they beat North Dakota State 75. 69. The Jackrabbits took early control of this game, jumping out to a 10 point lead. But the Bison kept storming back, eventually tying it a couple times in the opening half. Jacks would pull away for a nine point lead or one point in the first half, only to see the Bison trim it to five. Second half, both teams just leaving it all out on the court. Bison would take their first lead. Bison would take their first lead of the game with just over three minutes left. But the Jackrabbits able to prevail. Zeke Mayo hitting some clutch free throws down the stretch to give the Jackrabbits the 75-69 victory, Summit League Tournament champions and NCAA tournament. We're going to follow over here for a little bit so we can get some of the awards going on. Douglas Wilson, team high 21 points, 11 rebounds for the Jackrabbits. Zeke Mayo, 12 points. Baylor Shireman, 11. Charlie Easley, 15. Alex Arians, 10. All five starters reaching double figures in this one. That's a balanced attack that's led one of the nation's top offenses all year. On the other side, North Dakota State was led by Sam Griesel. He went for a game high 24 points, but it was the defense the Jackrabbits put on Rocky Cruiser that really was the difference. He was one of nine from the field for just four points tonight. A guy who usually is consistently in scoring in double figures. And the Jackrabbits did their job keeping him intact. And now they are announcing some of the all tournament team members. There's Baylor Shireman, the Summit League Player of the Year. He had 11 points, three rebounds, four assists, three steals. He does a little bit of everything for him. Doing it again tonight. And there is Douglas Wilson, team high 21, 11 rebounds for the double double. This was his first three games getting to play in the Premier Center after being injured two years ago. He's surely going to remember this, making the most of it. And uh, yeah, and they're still, uh, still announcing awards here. Tournament MVP to be announced here soon. And there it is, Douglas Wilson, your tournament MVP in his first Summit League tournament, so that's pretty special for him as he goes out his final game playing in South Dakota as the MVP of the conference tournament, helping the Jacks end a four-year drought in the NCAA tournament. Huge crowd here tonight, obviously mostly Jackrabbit fans. There was a there was a herd of Bison fans, and they were definitely making noise. But overall, once again, the Premier Center was dominated by the blue and yellow. trophy presentation and medals for all the players and uh, yeah just uh, an incredible game from start to finish everything you want for everything you want a championship game coming down to the wire both teams going toe to toe well, Sean you could not have asked for a better game by the SDSU Jackrabbits and of course last night we watched them shoot the lights out especially in the first half were you a little surprised at at how uh, how difficult it was for them to get some scoring going in this game. You know, I mean, I think, obviously, I think the first half last night was a historically great shooting performance, so I don't think that should ever be the expectation, and I think Eric Henderson and his players would say the same thing, but, uh, you know, they were still efficient tonight, and, you know, North Dakota State's always a good defensive team. They're always going to be in position, and they're going to force you to hit tough shots. Obviously, the Jacks did a pretty good job. I mean, they shot almost 44% from the field. They were 40% from deep. But, yeah, not quite as good as last night, but still pretty effective considering who they were playing. It looks like they're getting ready to hand out some medals to both teams at this time. Uh, boy, I, I, you really got to hand it to NDSU, though. They put up a fight all the way down to the wire. Yeah, I mean, they, they never gave up. They got down 10 in half and then came all the way back to tie it. Then the Jacks went on a 9-0 run to take a lead. Bison get a couple late buckets in the opening half, cut the deficit to five. 
Jacks kind of looked like maybe they put it away in the second half with the Bison. Every time they needed to, they'd make a run. I mean, they came back to take the lead there with, uh, you know, 3.05 to play. Probably had a lot of people in the stands very nervous, like, oh, no, here it comes. But Jackrabbits rallied there. It's very impressive. Yep, and Jackrabbits really hit some key shots down the stretch. And also, they were put to the free throw line and they sunk them. They uh, they stepped up and made their free throws, which was huge coming down the stretch. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're talking about the big buckets. How about the freshman Zeke Mayo hitting a little baseline floater there. We were the talking Jack about that here, too. Two. Yeah, putting up that two. I mean, that's a freshman performing on the biggest stage and the biggest moment right there. And then Alex Arians, you know, he was a red shirt the last time the Jack Rabbits won the Summit League Championship. He and Matt Dentlinger, the only two members of this team that were part of that 2018 team, and he hit free throws down there, down the stretch that were huge for the Jacks. And, Sean, I know I asked you this during the Women's Championship game. Do you know what the selection is going to be right now? So our selection Sunday for the men will be on Sunday. Um, last projections had South Dakota State as a 12 seed, um, going undefeated in the regular season and now the tournament. Do they maybe have a chance to jump up 11? Maybe, but I think they'd be all right as a 12 seed, and I don't think there's a lot of teams that are going to want to draw them because they're the top three-point shooting team in the country. But they also have the post players to score, too. Yeah, I don't know if our viewers could hear that. Uh, the top three-point shooting team in the country, that's very impressive. And you know what we always say about the NCAA tournament, if they do get seeded 12, there's always a 12 that beats a five. So we're kind of crossing our fingers on that. <laughs> that's right, there always is. It's one of the most popular upsets. And there you go, your J Jackrabbits are the champs. Obviously, I'm talking about, you know, making a run. You know, Oral Roberts went to the Sweet 16 last year. You know, Jack Rabbit's still looking for that first NCAA tournament win. You know, this group, along with that 2018 group, probably as well equipped as any team because they just have so many different scoring options. And how about for Eric Henderson? You know, he's been the head coach here for the past few years and finally getting his first tournament championship after a couple uh, upsets in the last two years. So his first title with the Jacks as the head man, former T.J. Otzelberger assistant. It really looks like the festive atmosphere out there, Sean. It looks like Disney World or the Super Bowl celebration going on. Yeah, there's confetti everywhere. Lots of the fans are still here. Um, some obviously heading to the gates because it is, you know, it's a week night. People got work to do, but uh, a lot of blue still remaining, a lot of noise. And uh, South Dakota State all smiles across the board there, no surprise. All right, well, I think we're going to let you go see if you can catch a couple of the players for some interviews. We've got some other business to take care of back here in the studio. Okay, right, I guess we're going to stay with you. We're going to stay with you, Sean. Oh, sorry, just kidding. We're going to stay? Yeah, we're going to stay with you. All right, so in case you're just joining us, South Dakota State men are the Summit League Tournament champions. 75-69 victors over North Dakota State. Douglas Wilson, 21 points and 11 rebounds. Sorry, nine, re no, 11 rebounds. Uh, Alex Arians, 10 points. Zeke Mayo, 12 points. Baylor Scheinman, 11. Just... Just thing, and uh, joining us now is going to be the tournament MVP, Douglas Wilson. Douglas, your first uh, first Summit League tournament championship. How, how awesome was tonight? Bro, it's unbelievable. It was just an unbelievable experience. Words can't explain it. I mean, the crowd that we had, all the support we had throughout the three days here has been amazing. Um, the preparation me and my teammates went through for all this, is, it was all hard, but at the end of the day, it was all worth it. I know you guys always said you took it one game at a time, but now that you've gotten to it, you went undefeated in regular season play, and then you go 3-0 in the tournament. Just how were you guys able to run the table like that? One game at a time, like you said. I mean, that's what we preach every day. I mean, we know we're a beatable team. Everybody's beatable. So we came in and just did what we have to do every game, and we just stayed humbled with it and just pulled through. I'm sorry, my word with my words is just... That final minute, you know, once, you know, Alex hits those free throws, then they come down, they miss that shot. You guys know you're the winners. What were the emotions like? 
feels like everything paid off from the off season, from from spring last year to now, everything's just been paying off. I mean, like I said again, this words can't explain it right now. Congratulations, Doug. Thanks for joining us. That was Douglas Wilson, the conference tournament MVP, 21 points, 11 rebounds in the championship game. He was the Summit League player a couple years ago, and uh, this was his first tournament in the Premier Center. He got to play in the Pentagon last year, but a big night. And coming up next, we have the regular season conference player of the year, Baylor Shireman. All right, Baylor, uh, how's this one feel? Uh, it feels amazing, you know. Uh, this is this is what makes everything worth it, you know. Um, all the work put in from May to now to get here is unbelievable. Um, you know, it's just a dream come true, you know. I grew up dreaming of getting to the NCAA tournament, and, you know, to finally get here, it's special. Yeah, three minutes left, just over three minutes, they take the lead. How are you guys able to battle back and then hold them off down the stretch? Yeah, well, you know, we're a pretty close-knit group, and, you know, obviously there was some adversity there. You know, they hit the three to go up one with three minutes left, but, uh, We've been in spots before, and we've pulled through in the clutch before, and, and you know, that just speaks volumes about our team and, and, and how close we are and, and just what this group, what makes this group so special. Yeah, about the final minute there, I think Zeke Mayo, you know, he went baseline, hit that little floater for a freshman to do that in that moment. You know, how big was that? Oh, it's big, and, you know, Zeke has the ultimate confidence, and, and we have the ultimate confidence in Zeke that he's going to make the right play. And, you know, I drove, kicked it to him. He made a great play, finish. Great play. 19 and 0 against Summit League opponents this year. When you hear that, you know what, what comes to your mind? Consistency, man. To go 19 and 0, you have to be consistent, not just in the games, but in practice, in the lifts, and in your daily life. You have to be consistent. How good did this feel to do this for Hendo? Feels amazing. You know, I, I, I love him. Uh, he's like he's like a second father. You know, we 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 spend a lot of time together, and he deserves it. He's a great guy. Thanks, Miller. Congratulations. And speaking of Coach Henderson, he's coming to join us here in just a little bit. Uh, Coach, first uh, tournament championship for you. How's it, start? How's it feel? Well, it's pretty surreal, to be honest with you. But at the end of the day, I'm just, you know, so happy for our players. They work their tails off like everybody does. But uh, it's, been, it's been quite a stretch. You know, that's 21 in a row. This is a special group. Absolutely. Yeah. All five of your starters and double figures. Sc scoring balance has been a key for you guys. How big was that tonight for everyone to do their Well, part? it's huge. You know, we've talked about that all year long, how many, how multiple guys can step up on different occasions. And we had that whole group step up tonight, and we needed them. Obviously, Dave does a terrific job. He's a great mentor of mine. I've learned a lot from him. He does a hell of a job with this team. Hey, Douglas Wilson's final game here in South Dakota. You're a lone senior. I mean, he couldn't have had a better performance final game in senior. I mean, I, I, I owe so much to that kid he's he's the man um, he's obviously a terrific player but how he connects everybody on our team is what makes him really special beyond just you know the chemistry on the court what makes this group so special well I think it's a lot of things it's versatility we got we get we can play in multiple different ways of uh, the balance we can have different guys step up on different nights and you know I know Doug and Baylor get a lot of the attention and deservedly so but we got some a lot of other good players too yeah speaking of that we got Zeke Mayo Hit that floater down there in the, about the final minute I mean, for a freshman to step up on that stage. I mean, what do you say? Big time play, and I thought he was terrific the last two nights. And then, and then probably the guy that goes m mostly unnoticed is Charlie Easley. What he does for us defensively and, and, and offensively too. He hits a big three when we needed it too. So he, the, 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 both those guys were terrific. Congratulations, Coach. Appreciate you Thanks guys. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. That was South Dakota State head coach Eric Henderson. He and the Jackrabbits, your Summit League tournament winners, will have plenty of coverage with SDSU all day tomorrow as they're heading to the NCAA tournament. Reporting live from the Premier Center, Sean Bauer, Kelloland Sports. Oh, great work, Sean. Great work. We really appreciate all you do out there with the whole Kelloland team. Again, SDSU defeated NDSU 75 to 69 in the Summit League championship game. We'll find out Sunday where they'll be playing in the NCAA tournament.